Okay, so let's start with Santa Clara County. Gonna do April to April since we're not through end of May yet. So some interesting data here as we load through. So the median price has gone up quite dramatically here. So you can see of April last year, 2020, the median single family home price in Santa Clara County was 1.37 million. And now we're at for, for last month, 1.61 million. So that is that is a 17.5% increase in the median home price for Santa Clara County. The median days on market has stayed the same um, at seven days on market, which is very fast. Um, this zero here for May last year was because of shelter in place. Um, we didn't sell any houses. So let's look at let's look at condos and townhouses for Santa Clara County. So interesting thing on that front as well is we still have an increase in the median sales price. Um, and as you can see, if you're looking at the days on market, um, it was pretty steady um, at 13 to 14 days, so two weeks, which is still quite, quite fast. And as you've seen in the last two months, that's gone down to single digits um, at nine days um, median days on market for condos and townhouses in Santa Clara County. The increase is 10%. So that's 7% less than single family. And one of the reasons for that is during the pandemic, people have been looking for more space in the backyard. And so single families have been quite in demand, but still condos are still quite competitive. As, as you can see, there's still a 10% increase in, in Santa Clara County. So let's let's move on to San Mateo County. Here we go. So let's first look at condos and townhouses in, in San Mateo County. So interesting data here on that front is that we definitely dipped down um, towards the end of last year. So you can see here, we're at 972 and the median went down to 840. And then now we're back up to 939. And if you also look at the days on market, um, they, it was in the 20s. And now it's, as of the last few months, started going down. So that's a good sign good sign for the for the condo townhouse market in San Mateo County. So for the single family market in San Mateo County, it's it's gone up quite a bit just like Santa Clara County for single family homes in San Mateo County. So you can see the days on market are we're now in the single digits of eight days on market for the last two months. The increase has been 17.5% as well as Santa Clara County. San Mateo County has had quite a bit of increase in the median sales price of single family homes. So before I jump to the another county, I'm gonna look at the number of homes, so inventory. So we, have definitely, definitely have had a challenge on, on inventory. So we just haven't had enough homes for sale. So you can see here, um, last year, April, we had 615 
um, active homes for sale, which is about 2.7 months of inventory. Now this year, only 0.9 months of inventory. So that's kind of explaining the the, the increases is the is the lack of inventory. So let's look at the let's look at the condo townhouse inventory for San Mateo. So we've had a so as you can see here is the the months of inventory is going up for the condo's house and now we're starting to trend back down again. So that's also showing why the the, the condos and townhouses in San Mateo County are selling faster as well. So let's jump back to Santa Clara County to check out inventory. So this, this chart kind of show, shows it all, right? So we are down in, just like in San Mateo County, Santa Clara County, we only have 0.9 months of inventory when in the past we've had up to two, three, four months of inventory. So we're extremely, this is for condos and townhouses. For single family, I think it's, it's, even, it's even lower, that's right. So we only have 0 0.7 months of, of inventory for, for, for Santa Clara County. So that's, that's really, really low inventory. So let's jump to Alameda County check that out. So Alameda County shows the same story with such low inventory. So we only have 0.6 months of inventory for single family homes in Alameda County. Only 690 homes for sale this month. And let's look at the condos and townhouses in Alameda as well. Same thing, same story, only, only 0.8 months of inventory right now. And we had up to two months, 1.7 months of inventory, only 354 condos and townhouses for sale. So let's, let's jump and look at the prices for Alameda. So we'll first, We'll first look at condos and townhouses. So median days on market eight, extremely low, lowest it's been in a year. And pricing, has, as you can see, has, it, went, it went down a little bit and now we're headed back up. So the, the trend is, is, is quite strong for, for condos and townhouses in Alameda. Single family. We can see single family has gone up quite quite a bit. So yeah, so we've seen it's almost a 25% increase in the median sales price in Alameda County uh, for single family homes throughout the pandemic. So let's jump to San Francisco. So let's look first at single family homes in San Francisco. So we hear on the news, this doom and gloom about San Francisco, and this is the single family um, prices of homes in San Francisco. And there's, as you can see, there's been quite an increase in the, so we've had a 12.4% increase in the median sales price of single family homes in, in San Francisco and the days on market is is still quite low at, at 10, 10 days on market. So let's look at the, let's now look at the condo townhouse market in, in San Francisco. So, so here, here we can see that the, the price is definitely, let's look at the chart, definitely, the prices have definitely gone down a little and now they're starting to recover. And if we look at the days on market, we can see at the beginning of the year, it was 60 days on market, so two months. And now that's starting to trend down. So we're now we're at 20 days on market. So that's a very good sign for, for the San Francisco market. 
So let's now look at let's look at some inventory. So let's look at San Francisco condo townhouse inventory. So we had a lot of inventory last year, and and now it's it's dropping. So now we're at we're now we're at 2.6 months of inventory. So that's kind of going along with the prices starting to, to, to pick back up again on the on the condo townhouse side in San Francisco. And finally, let's look at let's look at single family. So we have very little inventory. So only 1.5 months of inventory. And you can see last year it went up to 4.4. And so the, the inventory went up and now it's starting to go back down again. So things are getting pretty competitive. In, in in San Francisco. So question from, from the audience is um, what do I what do I think about the, the market going forward? I think it's a great question. I think we're the single family market for the entire Bay Area is extremely strong, similarly to the whole country. And I think um, for the foreseeable future it's in the near term, I think it will continue to be strong. I think something that I noticed from last year on the condo townhouse market is that it did soften and then now it's starting to pick up. And, and the reason I think it's starting to pick up is because of the difference, the delta between the pricing of single families, homes and condos and houses has gotten greater. And so that's drawing people that were previously looking at single families to condos and townhouses. I also think that with workplaces starting to open up, the the areas that were were a little bit that were a little bit softer will will we'll pick back up as people go back to the office. So I think we'll we'll check back in again next month and next month or maybe in two months and see how things are going. And if anybody wants more detailed stats, just feel free to reach out to me and I can send those directly to you. Have a nice day.